Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for November 5th, 2018. So, hey everyone, we have a market that's trying to show us a little bullishness this morning, but there is reason for some caution. Now, hey, these morning market preparation videos are meant for the entire public, and if anyone wants to share these videos with any friends or family, please feel free to do that. And also, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor, click that subscribe button on YouTube, and also click those thumbs up buttons and drop a comment. That truly helps me out an awful lot. So with this, everyone, let's take a look here at the Dow and see if we can get um, an idea of what's actually going on this morning. Now, overnight, we had Asian markets sold off sharply and during the night futures were pointing to a lower open but we've we've gotten a little bit um fired up here this morning as earnings are coming out and european markets are um uh, pointing higher and we flipped back and forth between a bullish and bearish open but it's it's pretty close to flat um, at the moment and as you can see here what we did yesterday if you guys remember on Friday I always hate putting out stuff like this but on Friday I warned everyone to be real careful on such a market gap up for the potential of these uh, patterns that just really suck a lot of people in and then we end up getting the selling comes uh, in right after and we've experienced a lot of those gap up pop and drop type opens here lately um, in the market so this morning if we do happen to get that bullish open just be a little bit careful because remember although the market may be trying to put a brave face on on things this morning we have the midterm elections beginning tomorrow and we know that the market is um, nervous about that and we also know that this dark cloud cover that that occurred on Friday would um, honestly suggest more downside today than upside so watch that carefully we could easily see this um, catch a little bit of pullback and I would not be at all surprised to see a test of the overnight lows in the futures sometime during the day so as much as I don't want to put out you know bearish ideas or bearish thoughts we do have to remember that resistance is doing its job here and you know even with the trade war rhetoric that's going on um, ahead of the midterms and then we have the midterms and we have about 1500 companies reporting earnings this week we have to keep in mind that um, lots and lots of volatility lots of head fakes lots of reversals intraday are certainly possible let's keep in uh, keep in mind here that a typical pattern um, that we'll see in the market when we make a low is we'll rally back up and then we find another test of the low. Now, I'm not suggesting it has to go all the way back down, but another pullback to, to even put in a higher low is very typical. Um, it is entirely possible if we do get a trade negotiation uh, thing resolved with China, if that negotiation does finally resolve, then we could actually put in what's called a V bottom. They're actually, they're really rare in the market. You don't see too many true V bottoms in the market. So unless that trade negotiation um, really starts to shape up and, and come together pretty quickly, don't rule out that possibility of that pullback to retest those lows before we start going higher. Now, the good news is that, you know, Santa Claus is coming to town. And we all know Santa Claus uh, generally brings a bullish market with him. But that historically, that bullish market doesn't begin until mid toward or toward the end of 
uh, November. So with the current market volatility, we could see a lot of that fluctuation back and forth in here. A pullback in here would actually set us up for a really good opportunity for that Santa Claus rally to occur. Remember, markets pulling back are not a bad thing. That actually gives us an opportunity to buy really good stock at lower prices. So everything went on sale just before Santa Claus comes to town. That could be a real positive for us as long as we're patient and wait for the trade rather than chasing around and, and, and allowing ourselves to get beat up in the tremendous volatility that we've been experiencing here lately. And again, with 1,500 companies reporting earnings this week, expect considerable volatility. SPY doing the same thing, rallying straight up into this resistance, slamming into that resistance level, banging its head against it, not quite able to to um, show bully, enough bullishness to pop through there. So we're likely to see um, with this uh, dark cloud cover type pattern here, a little more rest or pullback in here um, in this buy. So don't be surprised. And with midterms coming up, you know, just around the corner, um, not a big surprise. Let's take a look at the Qs. Qs also rejecting here at resistance. And the, the NASDAQ had a really rough day on Friday. Didn't it, didn't put in a dark cloud cover, but actually failed and, and, and broke on down here from a resistance level. So a lot of work yet to do here on the NASDAQ. And, and that happened to be a failure pattern at the 200-day moving average, which really would suggest more pullback is likely to come in the NASDAQ. So let's keep an eye on that. And IWM, IWM really did a pretty good job on Friday. And if you guys remember, I suggested this might be a place to catch an early rally um, in the market. And that's worked out really nicely here. So any kind of a little rest or pullback in here could be a positive sign uh, for the market as well. If we can rest and hold on to some support levels and, and, and gather a little energy energy here, we may have an opportunity. But also keep in mind that a, a, a full-on pullback is certainly uh, possible and technically would be technically correct. Okay, let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX had, um, did a, a little bit of a dance here on Friday. Um, we popped up, looked like we might at one time put in a, a bullish engulfing candle on the VIX and that happens to be right off of this level of support. That's not what we want to see. We don't want to see the uh, fear cropping up here again off of there because if, as you can see that would create one of those W patterns and if that were to break out of here we would have some um, serious trouble possibly ahead. So hopefully that doesn't occur. Hopefully um, with a little bit of uh, clearer thinking and, uh, that we continue to settle down here around the support level and then um, even slip below would be really nice to have some of that fear dropping out of the market for just a little bit. Now T2122 is the four week new high new low ratio and I just plot that with a line chart and as you can see if you can go back I'm going to go to a weekly here you go back in history and you can see when we're down here in this area we typically rally when we're up here in this area how consistently this indicator shows us when we've kind of overreached um, in, in our move higher. So what we have right now on the daily as you can see we were down here for a while bouncing around and we've experienced these really high spikes in um, the market here recently that and they get sold off um, into. And so this high spike, I have the sneaky suspicion that this high spike could also bring us a, some kind of a pullback, but it doesn't have to come all the way back down into here. We could just get a nice light pullback, which would be, um, it could easily manifest itself in the chart as more of a consolidation on the diamonds and spy and, and things like that, just to rest a little while. So a little bit of rest in here would not be out of the question. But let's also keep in mind um, where we are right now that we certainly have plenty of upside room if the bulls do get inspired. But um, just about as equal 
uh, room to the downside if those bears happen to get inspired. So watch that closely. I don't think we can really pull a directional uh, pick out of this, just that uh, volatility can really toss us around in both directions and that there's room to go uh, both sides of that. Let's take a look at the um, earnings calendar, or excuse me, the economic calendar for today. And as you can see here on, whoops, wrong one, um, on the economic calendar here today, we have... There we go. On the economic calendar today, we don't have a whole lot um, in here to make the market really be worried about. No major reports. We do have the ISM um, non-manufacturing report today, and um, that's about the only thing expected to move the market around. We do have some Fed speakers in here and a bunch of bond auctions and announcements. But other than that, pretty light calendar today um, on the economic calendar. On the earnings calendar, over 270 companies reporting earnings today with more than 1,500 companies or right at 1,500 companies reporting earnings this week. So expect a lot of volatility as we toss around um, these earnings reports and lots of back and forth. So currently everyone, as I look at this market this morning, we are um, looking just slightly bearish. And I'll tell you honestly, I don't have any really good ideas for anyone for a trade idea today because of the volatility, because of the, the um, election coming. I think there's an awful lot of risk in this market. So be very, very, very careful. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day and I want to wish you all great profits. Please do me a favor, click those subscribe buttons, and hopefully you'll see that there's some value in this pre-market planning. Um, it certainly paid off on Friday uh, where I suggested the potential of that pop and drop uh, to just wait for some follow through buying. And you can see how important that is. Um, when you follow along with this price action work. Remember, I don't try to put any bias on the market here whatsoever. I just want to read what the chart is telling me and um, focus on what price action is suggesting at the time. So everyone, take care. Have a great day. We'll talk to you all very, very soon. Bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a great one.